Hello everybody. Today's uh, short mini lesson on Think Central is going to cover how to make a shortcut to your most commonly used resources. I'm also going to show you how to uh, create a favorite or bookmark it, um, but most importantly um, create a shortcut um, that you can put out on your desktop so that um, at any given moment in the morning when you're getting ready for the day or whenever you can click on that uh, shortcut link and it'll take you straight to your student ebook or to your teacher uh, ebook or whatever. So let me go back in here and log into Think Central. I'm going to click on resources. And for this example, I'm going to narrow it down to math. Uh, but what I'm showing you today, you can do uh, with any resource within Think Central, including all of the reading resources. Uh, so let me go down here and find the student edition probably one of the most commonly used uh, resources, especially for those of you that have an Interwrite tablet or a, um, a digital whiteboard, smart board in your room. So I'm going to open up this resource. And to get my shortcut, what I need to do is I need to come up here and I have a link right here. I have the website address. Now notice I can't do anything to it. I can't delete it or anything, but I can or change it but I can highlight it. So I'm going to highlight it by clicking on it or uh, you may have to double click on it. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to select copy. Now I'm going to go back to my other browser and I'm going to open up a new tab. Or you could open up if you wanted to, you could open up a new window if you wanted to. Whatever you're most uh, familiar with. And inside the uh, address window up here, I'm going to hit control V, uh, which is paste, or I can right click and paste that um, address that I copied, and I'm going to click enter. Now I have freed up my ebook, my student ebook, from that um, little window that normally pops up for my Think Central resources. Now I can do a couple of things. The first thing I can do is I can go to add to uh, favorites, and you can see that on my particular browser depending on, and it may be different depending on what a version of Explorer you're using but I get a shortcut link right there and it'll also show up in your favorites um, down here it looks like it's alphabetized um, I got a bunch of links in here so it's in there as well um, but the most uh, beneficial thing that I would recommend for you to consider doing let me minimize my other pages here and notice, uh, for those of you that, if I may be moving too fast, a couple things you can do. You can hit this, and then this allows you to resize your window. Um, and you can also double click on the blue bar. That uh, shrinks the window down. Now I can see my background, or my desktop in the background. And I'm going to take this link, and I'm going to drag it. See the little arrow? Um, notice the little arrow by my mouse. I'm going to drop it right onto my desktop. So now I have a link forever residing on my desktop that I can click on um, even if I'm not logged into Think Central and I can quickly be taken right to my student book. Now let me do it uh, again here to show you uh, the steps one more time. All right now let me click on another resource and um, I'll just use Mega Math as an example. And as you can see, it opens up once again inside this window with the gray address area up here at the top. I'm going to click in there uh, just one time and it highlights the whole thing. I'm going to right click and click copy. And then I'm going to put that window down. And I'm going to. Now I'm going to go to a new tab. And inside that window, I, or inside the address window, I'm going to click Paste and hit Enter. Now I have my uh, direct link to my Go um, Mega Math content, so I can bookmark it, add to favorites. There's my table of contents for uh, Mega Math, and then I can make this window smaller. And once again, I can drag this out onto the desktop. So now I have started my Think Central uh, shortcut area on my desktop. Student Edition, Teacher Edition, uh, Mega Math, um, 
reteach um, edition whatever resources in think central that you use regularly you can follow this the steps in this video to um, create a shortcut and that you can um, add as a favorite or put on your desktop